Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon. Let's talk about yogurt. And um, uh, the reason is that uh, I just uh, listened to, uh, I uh, got uh, a message, notice, that uh, I suddenly f found that some friends are talking about making yogurt through one of my video, and I did not even know wh uh, what was happening. It's quite interesting. One friend bought milk and wanted to make yogurt. She bought two gallons of milk, and it did not turn out right. So I want to... <clears throat> try to ease that stress and uh, explain a little bit as I experience. This yogurt does not look that good with these bubbles and it's not very smooth, but uh, the yogurt here is very smooth. It's a good yogurt. It's just uh, because when I whip the the milk, it has bubble and I didn't take out the bubble. It does not change any of the yogurt quality. So if your yogurt is runny, not too runny, if it is really too runny and you feel it's not right, it's not even yogurt, it means that your yogurt is not even formed. The bond, the chemical bond, the milk is still milk and it has not yet developed into this gluey yogurt thing. So maybe that's the price we need to pay. I have paid my price. I have a lot of yogurt didn't turn out well. And uh, through many years of experience, I think I have made it something like five years, five years of yogurt, and every day I make a lot of yogurt. This is the milk, the bottom, a little bit burned, but it's okay. And it does not change. Oh, this one is much better. And uh, that's the price we need to pay, right? We cannot make sure everything happens at the first shot shot. Maybe um, accept it and move on. So if your yogurt is not very um, firm or quite runny, one way is that because there is too much water. So I drain the water. As you can see here, and this time this patch of yogurt coming out quite good because the temperature is good, because it's summertime. Summertime is always easier for making yogurt. It's just a part of its nature. And I put a, a muslin here, a piece of a muslin cloth or cheese cloth. You can see it's not very firm. Uh, this is good enough. You can double its layer a little bit thin or a little bit uh, loose than this. Uh, bigger mesh than this also works. The, the key of this is that it get away the water from the yogurt. The whey or the ray, W-H-E-Y. So you can see it stu starts to come out water because uh, you can see the water starts to come out and yee, that looks so strange, yeah. The, the water starts to come out so it will help to make your yogurt more condensed and this develops the flavor. Yogurt, I make yogurt with whole milk. Whether you boil it completely or not, it's your personal choice. My choice or my rationale is, is that I am from my tradition. We always boil the milk to, to eat, to drink it, to make it clean, to kill the bacteria. And some people do not boil the milk and they are perfectly safe. It is your choice. And um, some people say, do you have to boil to 108, uh, 110 degree, 100 degree? 
it's really a personal choice. You do not even need to boil it if you are confident with it. I am just very cautious and um, I want to make sure the bad, bad bacteria is killed. It's totally no bad bacteria. If you have bad bacteria, it will develop into something runny, something gluey, something slimy, and you do not want it. You want it to be pure. So that's the reason, that's my rationale to boil it, completely boil to a foam, just to make sure it does not come out. And imagine temperature when it is hot for your hand it's just too hot your hand will be cooked the 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 we 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 cook meat by boiling because it's heat all the bacteria the life is gone and if you boil it too much if you boil it the milk is is, is killed or it's dead milk. What we are drinking is dead milk. The price you are paying by boiling the milk is that you are killing all the life, maybe some vitamin, maybe it's a nutrition uh, fact. It's a balance you make, make a choice between you want it uh, uh, safer or you want it more nutritious. Well, my choice, I boil it. So that's about boiling or not. Okay, after that, some people, some friends said they make the yogurt, but the yogurt is very runny. Why? Because the yogurt development is not water development. It's the milk. It's the white thing. It's the fat. It's the milk that develop. You put a lot of water. It's like a social distancing. When you have very condensed milk, whole milk plus whipping cream plus heavy cream, So what I do, I use whole milk and whipping cream. And uh, around, uh, for, for, for this amount of whole milk, I put one tablespoon or two tablespoons. If you put much more, it will be so delicious. It's like eating... It's like drinking cream. It's so good. But it may not be so healthy for you. And you do not want to, to have that. You still want some, some healthy um, elements in your food. And also you want a little bit sourness, right? Okay, we will talk about that later. Uh, about the sourness. So here my milk is already cold because I went to have some work and prepare things and let it cool so it is cold. My usually method, bring it, bring it to a full boil, put into a bowl of cold water to be in a cold water bath because the temperature will decrease in a shorter time until it reaches to about our hand temperature. Our hand, we are human beings. We are made of living things. Milk, you want to have it as a living thing. Milk, bacteria is a living thing. It's life. So you want to be, if it's too cold, too hot for your hand, the, the bacteria will be killed, right? So um, make sure you put the right amount of uh, whole milk and, uh, and with some cream because the development is, is the yogurt development, is not water development. Water does not make any reaction in this. And you use a uh, good starter 
whichever kind this kind or the yellow kind now i use the blue kind it still makes very good very dense yogurt so i use this it starts very pure this milk has no life it's already dead the life is here is from the dried yeast inside it's the little bacteria dried bacteria you put it in it starts and start to make yogurt and i use second generation yogurt uh, this is the yogurt we made two days ago i made some yogurt and this is a second generation i use this as a starter so that uh, this one can last much longer time and also I do not waste things and some people say you can continue use 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 no it later I it lost its dynamic the the, the, the yogurt will, will I use it only one more generation with it and also yogurt development is the milk development is not the water development if you put low fat milk all the milk particles, elements, are distanced. They are social distancing, so they cannot have action, interaction. But if you have whole milk or whipping cream, this kind of milk, the, the, the milk are, are bumping each other, action acting each other and this one bump the other one that one fall in love with another one they can have they make baby and they they, they just more active things happening right so the yogurt develop into a firm yogurt in a shorter time when the yogurt develop when the milk becomes yogurt it's an action of producing some acid in a shorter time, it does not produce very much acid. It's already becoming firm because the action happened so fast. But if you use less condensed milk, non-fat milk, it takes much longer time from one particle of yogurt to reach the other particle of yogurt. It will reduce the action, interaction between the yogurt, the bacteria, and it will prolong the time of making that yogurt. So your yogurt will be less fresh. Your yogurt will be more acid. Do I make any sense? It's totally non-scientific. It's pure common sense right it happens fast and it's already done then there is no not much yogurt not much acid formed so this is why some yogurt are sweeter than the others because there is the, the, there is only the process of uh, yogurt becoming uh, milk becoming yogurt and not the byproduct of the acid so or with limited byproduct of acid. So it's more delicious, right? Makes sense? So this is how it works. Okay, I think. So this yogurt, this milk is already a little bit cold. I will need to heat it up a little bit. I will heat it up a little bit at the same time I put all these things back and uh, <clears throat> the other time a couple of years ago I went to France my in-law also make yogurt and um, what I have learned from my in-law, my mother-in-law, she said, do not put too hot water. Because when you put too hot water, it, 
it, it does not need to be too hot. And through the experience, I start to understand you do not need too hot water. I am boiling some water on the side. So, this should be okay. I will not put my hand in. And clean up. I will put a bowl under it. Okay, this is not too hot. I can use my hand to touch it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, the, the pure metal part is a little bit hot, but now it's pretty good. So I put the starter in. This is a first generation starter. And actually first generation starter relatively thin. The second generation is actually the best for eating. So whip it a little bit like this. If you whip too much, it will have a lot of bubble on it. So that is it. I am starting to boil, boil some water and put this into... If you have a um, yogurt incubator, that little yabu chie, that's good. I will wash this. And um, if you do not have, I use this igloo. Works equally well. Okay, I have boiled the water. It's not totally boiling on the side. This one is not totally boiling. I will tell you the reason a little bit later. So now we put our yogurt in. Oh, 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 that is not good. Our little pot. Okay, sometimes I find you use a small pot, it's easier for the yogurt to develop. Make any sense? Because um, the yogurt, when it is becoming ready, immediately it gets to its neighbor. It gets to be confined into a smaller place. If you put a big bowl, it takes a long time for the yogurt fibers to, to form. Make any sense? Imagine the yogurt is a long chain of, uh, of uh, molecules. And it takes a long time to form a long chain. And it takes shorter time to form a shorter chain. Shorter lane. Right? And this one... The area is small, it's enclosed, so it's much easier for the yogurt to become firm. Make sense? Right? So, cover it up. So, I reuse my yogurt pot this way. I am not wasting. And also, it is... Uh, it is better to use this small stuff and the temperature of this it's a little bit hot but not burning hot because this is summer if winter time sometimes i boil it even up to totally boil because um, this container the pot the ceramic will absorb some heat. So when it reach to the yogurt inside, it will not kill the bacteria. Make sure the key for yogurt making is bacteria development. You cannot make it too hot. And if it is too cold, it just does not have enough 
action, enough dynamic to allow it to develop. So put it aside. In summertime, the fastest, I think yesterday or something, I made it within three hours. You can see it's already firm. And uh, in winter time, sometimes 10 hours or longer time. But the shorter time, the summertime yogurt is sweeter because it takes less time for yogurt to develop. There's no need to develop too much acid to help the development because it's so, uh, it's so active. Immediately it becomes yogurt. And, um, and that is about it, I think. Uh, make sure the temperature not too hot, not too cold. Make sure your, uh, your uh, milk is condensed enough. Some people put sugar, vanilla inside. It's okay, it does not change the yogurt development. Some people say putting some sugar will help with the development. It's your choice if you want to eat it more healthy without sugar or you want to eat it more delicious. Who cares about health or not? And we live only one life. Yeah, it's your choice. And some friend suggests to use... Uh, a fruit inside it does not turn out well because the the gem the gem density on the bottom will absorb a lot of water from the yogurt it has a layer of not so good looking the best thing the way i eat my yogurt this is uh, the one i made yesterday the way i eat yogurt I put a spoonful of jam and stir it and eat it like this. And I feel this is the best. The taste is more fresh. Yogurt is yogurt and jam is jam. You can stir it equally fine. And each of its character, the sweetness or the sourness of the yogurt, the sweetness and sourness of the jam is still has its own integrity, has its own integrity. So it is more delicious to eat this way. And if you put it at the bottom of it and make the yogurt, it just does not come out very very, very good. Nothing has its unique flavor. But caramel you can put because it's not acid. Caramel. Caramel or creme de marron. Yeah, you see, we have a lot of this creme de marron, chestnut spread. This works well, yes. That's about it. And this is the yogurt I made just a couple of, uh, a couple of hours ago. And yogurt just made is still active until you put into refrigerator and let it sit for six hours, ten hours. And my yogurt, I usually eat one day or two days later. It can last up to one week or ten days and uh, still good because the temperature is is uh, our... Uh, um, our refrigerator temperature is cold, so it will stop the bacteria fast development. There is still development, but not too fast, and you are safe to eat. And um, so when you first made, the yogurt does not taste good because it's still a very... Um, lukewarm not lukewarm it's not warm at all but there is no character no character it takes one day put into refrigerator let it sit let it develop its flavor develop its character okay so that's about it 
This is two days old yogurt and it is at its prime. So good. Okay, the last thing. See how much water we get. And this one you can make tzatziki, you can make into spread. I put some cucumber, make it into tzatziki spread. Or you can just, uh, uh, oh, I, I want to, tonight we are going to make tuna spread. Tuna, like tuna sandwich, instead of putting mayonnaise or together with mayonnaise, with cream, it is very, very good. And tonight we will do that. Okay. So you can make a lot of things. And there were time I made tiramisu out of it. So you can see it's starting. Too much water. Bring it up a little bit. And um, in two or three days, it will be it it will be very very hard. It's like um, even a little bit like camembert or brie, that texture, but the, the 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 crust does not have that crust. It's like farmer's cheese. Thank you very very much. Thank you for your time. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Sleep well, little yogurt. Bye bye, friends. <laughs>